Hello and welcome to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to understand how you can send email via SendGrid from Webhook responses automatically. Now, let's say that you want to send an email using SendGrid, which is an email marketing tool. But the application with which you wish to receive the response is not a part of Pabli Connect integration library. In such a case, you can use a feature by Pabli, which is Webhook. This provides you a URL with which you can integrate any application that supports Webhook. Now here, let's take the example of Gravity Form. Though it is a part of Pabli Connect integration library, but let's say if it was not, then we could easily receive the URL using Webhook by Pabli. And with this URL, we can integrate Pabli Connect and Gravity Forms. And later, we can integrate this with SendGrid, where we have to send an email. So the moment this form is filled here, then automatically with the help of SendGrid, you can send an email to the user. So here your trigger will be Webhook by Pabli and your action application will be SendGrid. Now to understand how you can do this yourself, integrate and automate this process, let's start. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect software. You can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. If you are an existing user, simply sign in and if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And once you're done, here you will reach the dashboard and on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Click on this. Now here a dialog box has appeared, which is asking you to name this workflow. I'm going to name it as sent email via send grid from webhook response. Now I'm going to click on create. As I do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of our trigger application. Now let me explain this to you with the help of an example. The moment you swipe your card and the payment is done, then you automatically receive a notification through SMS or WhatsApp. In this integration, your trigger application will be the payment gateway and your action application will be platforms through which you can send messages. Now let's come to our use case. So here my trigger application will be Webhook by Pabli. Let's click on this. So this here is a feature by Pabli and here you can see we have received this webhook URL. I'm going to copy this. Now here I'm going to take you to gravity forms. So let's go there and here first of all I'm going to take you to forms. Now let's go to add-ons. So before you go to forms you have to go to add-ons. Now here I'm going to take you to webhooks. So you can see webhooks add-on. So please make sure that this has been activated on your system. So I'm going to activate this. Now I'm going to take you back to forms. Let's go to the forms that we have created. And here I have created all these forms and recently I've created a form. The name is contact form. Let me show you the same. So this is an extremely simple form where we have the following fields, first name, last name, phone number and email address. Now here as per the instructions given, we have to go to entries. Within this, we have to go to form settings. And now as I scroll down, you can see webhooks. Let's click on this. And here I'm going to add a new webhook. So here, let's say the name here is test webhook. Now here we have to paste the URL. So this URL that we have received, I'm going to copy this. And here I'm going to paste the same. Then the request method is post and the request format is JSON. Now I'm going to click on save settings. So once this is done, you can see that the settings are updated. Now here it is saying that do a test submission so that we can capture the webhook response here. So basically now I have to fill up this form. So I'm going to take you back to gravity forms. Let's click on preview. Now here we have to fill in the details. So let's say the first name is dummy. The last name is new one, two, three. Here we have got the phone number and then here we have the email address. I'm going to click on submit. So here we can see that the form has been submitted. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. You can see that we have received the response. So let's check the response that we have received. This here is the ID. Then we have the form ID, date of creation. Then as I take you down here, we have the source URL. Again, as I take you down here, we have got the details. So here is the name, the last name, mobile number and email address. Now, once we have received this information, I want to send an email to this particular user using SendGrid. So here my action application will be SendGrid. 
let's click on this and here the action event will be to send an email let's click on connect as we do that here Pabli connect wants to connect itself with the send grid account so i'm going to select add new connection now to set up this connection we need this token key and how can we receive this for this first we have to log into our send grid account go to settings api keys and then we have to create an api key there and then we have to choose full access and click on create so let me take you to my send grid account so i already logged in now here i'm going to go to settings api keys now here i'm going to create an api key so let's say the name of this api key is test key 123 and I have to provide full access and click on create and view and as I do that here is the key that has been created. I'm going to copy this go back to Pabli connect and paste this over here. Let's click on save to set up this connection. Now once we do that here we can see that SendGrid and Pabli connect are now connected. And now here we have to fill in this information. And now how am I going to do that as I click on this you can see the previous step. And as I click on this, this here is the response that we have just received. So here I'm going to scroll down and this here is the email address of the person to whom I wish to send this email. So here I have entered the email address of the person to whom you are sending an email. And the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time your workflow runs in real time, then it can have access to the new information. If I had written the same information manually, then instead of taking the new information, it would have been stuck with the manually written data. So to avoid that, we map the information. Next here, we have to write the subject. So here, let's say that I am writing a welcome email. So here I'm going to write welcome on board. Next we have to enter the from email address and here it is mentioned that this particular email address must be associated with your SendGrid account. So here I'm going to write the same. Okay, then we have the from name. So here I'm going to write Pabli connect. Next we have the reply to email. So I'm going to write the same email address again. Okay. And then we have the content type. So this is plain text. Then we have the content value. So here we have to enter the content value. So here I have written dear. Now I'm going to map the name of the person. So this here is the name of the person. So I have written dear dummy. We are glad to have you on board. Stay tuned to receive the latest updates on new integration and automation applications. Please feel free to connect in case of any query. Now here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I do that here, you can see that we have received the response. So according to this, now a mail must be sent to our user. Let's go and check the same. And here you can see that, yes, we have received the message. Dear dummy, we are glad to have you on board. And here is the rest of the message. So this means that our integration is a success, but we also need to check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to gravity forms. Let's go back to preview. And here I'm going to fill in the data. Let's say the name is smart, the last name is user1, then here we have got the phone number and email address. I'm going to click on submit. Now as I do that, what should happen automatically, a mail should be received by the user. Let's go and check the same. And here you can see that we have received another email. This here is addressed to smart and then the rest of the message. So this means our integration is a success, taking you back to Pabli Connect. Let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger is a feature by Pabli which is webhook where the event is capture webhook. The action here is send grid where this action application here is send grid where the event is to send an email. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. 
I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.